and he like starts to roll this way. And my, I could like, almost like I'm doing like a heel hook to myself, right? I could blow my knee out. Uh, when I was doing rehab on my knee, there was actually a police officer that was blew his knee out like that. Taking it easy on new guy, had his feet out like this, got rolled over, tur turned his foot, blew his knee out. So we wanna have our toes tucked in under his butt, right? So now I'm securing his hips warm, right? Another tip, when I'm mounted, I don't necessarily wanna be in line with him. Every time I'm in line with him, uh, trapper, it's easy to be taken over, right? If I'm here and I'm off centered, should I do the same trap and roll? Other way? It's a lot harder now, right? So that's another tip. We don't want to be in line with him. Every time we're here, we're outside, right? It makes it a lot harder. Another thing I got asked was this. They're like uh, grape vining, frogging the legs, or however you want to call it. I'm sure it has its times of use. But what ends up happening a lot of times when we're here, we feel like we have a control to stretch your leg out. We don't have nothing and now we're, we're out here loose. If I keep my toes pointed in and I actually point towards the ceiling and I try to like move your leg, it's easy to follow him. If let's say he puts his leg up really, really high. Keep going. I follow him, his calf. So. Always pointing up makes it easy to find his legs, guys. And when my feet are pointing up to the ceiling, it helps my hip push down into his hip. So now when he wants to like buck, it's a lot harder, can you? Right? If I do it this way, he's gonna stretch and then buck. And look how, look how easy he took me off. All right? I'm, I'm 223, guys. I know some of you are probably gonna say I weigh like 240, but I'm not 240, I'm 223. <laughs> So, but look how easy it was to bump me off when I did this, versus going like that, right? So, with those few pointers, and we'll practice it in a little bit. Let's start getting into our move, right? So when we're here, I know a basic one you guys like doing, we get the wrist to the floor, and we grab, and usually what'll happen is, we come here for Americana, right? But what intends to happen is, when we bring this down, I grab and I'm here. Mikey puts his head heavy because he's not worried about this. He could take that all day. As long as he's holding my, my arm there, I can't finish this move, right? And I start running the risk of him trapping and rolling me to that side because he has my hand or my arm, I should say. So when we're here, what we're gonna do is the hand that's on top, that's grabbing my own wrist. I'm actually gonna switch it over and grab his pinky, the meaty part. If he's making a fist, then I'm grabbing all his knuckles, all right? I'm putting it to the ground and I'm actually gonna cut Mikey's head up. I don't wanna put his head to the ground because that's what he's gonna use the bridge to bump, right? So I actually pick it up and I move it away from his hand. So it's almost like I'm separating the head and the shoulder, okay? So we're here, picked this head up, moved it to the side, and I'm still doing that Americana motion. And I get my tap. This one's not gonna be so much like that normal shoulder lock. It's really kind of like from your ear to your shoulder, right? Yeah. So it's, it's, it's weird. It's almost like you're pulling the ligament or the muscle in the neck, right? So again, we're here. Maybe he's defending. We get it down. I brought his hand to this one. I go, but I feel Mikey make his head tight, yeah. So now I take the hand on top, grab his fist, I keep it there, pick his head off the mat, and now what I'm gonna do is I pick his head and I go Americana. All right? This motion, guys, is just like how Freddie teaches it. I'm dragging his fist along the mat like a paintbrush while I lift his elbow up, all right? I'm not from here doing it like this. It's like a paintbrush. I'm drawing a straight line as his elbow lifts up. Okay, so you guys, we good or anybody need to see it? No? Yeah. Huh. So again, my head off the line, right? Always pointing to the ceiling. Grab his wrist. Move it down. Bring it here. I come underneath. Boom. Oh. Mikey put his head apart. I can't get it off anymore. 
I'm gonna switch hands. Okay. Boom, right here. Keep Mikey's head off the mat, and I draw a line. Straight down the red line that's right there, as I lift his elbow. And we get our task. All right, we good, guys? Stride on three. One, two.